Portland is a really fantastic place to be a chef. I truly believe I live in one of the best places in America for ingredients from berries to hazelnuts to mushrooms to all the great seafood and uh, meat options. It smells really good. It smells amazing, actually. To have something that is seasonal and plant-based is extremely important. I think it's a very important category of food, just plants in general. We have a lot of vegetarian and vegan guests that come to the restaurant, so having uh, a robust menu that they can enjoy and feel like was created specifically for them, I think that's extremely important. But I also do truly believe that, you know, there is some benefit from, you know, just making sure that we're making time for plant-based eating in our lives. Today we are making a creamy sun-dried tomato and cashew roasted cauliflower salad. I've created this dish just for us and for OXO. It features some of my favorite ingredients and favorite techniques. I'm so excited to make it, so let's get going. So we're gonna start with our cauliflower. This recipe is measured after three pounds, so if you can't find a large head of cauliflower, be sure to grab a couple. And even if the florets feel like they're a little bit bigger than a bite-sized piece, it's okay because they're going to shrink as they cook. I love cauliflower, especially when focusing on eating plant-based because it is such a versatile vegetable, you know? It's really a blank canvas for any type of array of spices, cultural ingredients that you wanna to add to it. Uh, it's just a really perfect foil for so many different directions. I'm taking a bit of red onion and we're just gonna slice it thin. So if we're putting the cauliflower in for about 10 to 15 minutes, I wanna slice these onions thick enough so that they cook within that same amount of time. Next up, some salt and some olive oil. Gonna measure out two teaspoons of salt. Try to disperse this throughout. One more. Olive oil is absolutely one of the best oils you can use. It's heart healthy. Extra virgin olive oil is extremely unprocessed. It's an extremely natural ingredient and it absolutely tastes delicious. It's actually used in a lot of different cultures around the world um, and it pairs well with lots of different foods. Our vegetables are ready and I'm just gonna pour this out into a nice even layer. Looks like it's just enough for this pan. And I'm just gonna drizzle this with just like a little bit of oil just to give it a nice sheen. Make sure that all these beautiful vegetables have that fat that's gonna conduct that heat and get them nice and crispy and golden on the edges. And we'll just get this in a nice hot 450 degree oven and get going on our sauce. I've actually had some cashew soaking and it's been about an hour. So we have those cashews, the water. That soak is also going to help that chipotle soften up a bit and puree nice and smooth. We're gonna add a little bit of citrus and acid to this dressing. I love using the zest because the zest has so much flavor that we're gonna get from all these amazing essential oils. We're gonna add a little bit of lime juice for acid. And we'll use our juicer here. Right into our sauce. So I have these beautiful pieces of ginger. I like to use a peeler and just give it a quick peel. It's just gonna add a little bit of dimension and kick to this already rich but light cauliflower salad. I like to cut my ginger across the grain to get it as smooth as possible. So the fibers in the ginger go from top to bottom. So we're gonna put it lengthwise and just cut right across. And I have about two cups of sun-dried tomatoes. And this is just gonna give it that nice bit of tang and creaminess and brightness and a beautiful reddish hue. So we have our beautiful cauliflower that's been roasted to perfection. We are just gonna get this in a bowl, and toss it up, and look at these golden, beautiful, tender pieces of cauliflower. Those little bits of onion are charred and just crisp to perfection. So we're gonna add our dressing, and I'm just gonna add like a nice creaminess to this salad. And it's already looking so delicious. When I try to come up with food, I'm thinking about texture and technique and seasonality, flavor, how to make something as delicious as possible. On the level that we operate, we want to create something that you've never had. And that's what drives our creativity. 